biggest New Year's resolutions was, I'm going to buy a house in 2020. Now you're probably thinking, should I buy a house in 2020? My name is Steve Arthur. I am a local realtor here in the Long Beach area and the surrounding cities. If this is your first time here seeing me on YouTube, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell for future notifications because I do put out these videos every week all about Long Beach, the surrounding cities, living in them, things to do, some really cool stuff about Long Beach, the surrounding areas too. So again, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell for future notifications, and let's get started with today's video. Hurry, I can hardly wait. Now today's video, we're gonna talk about why you should buy a home in the year 2020. And I am gonna back that up with eight valid reasons. But the last reason you wanna make sure that you stick around for, because it just makes it a complete no-brainer as to why you should buy a house in the year 2020. So, what makes 2020 so compelling to buy a home? Well, there are a lot of powerful reasons, and especially if you're paying rent. Check this out. If you already own a home and you've been on the fence about buying a income property, well, now's a good time to do that as well. Now we know that the real estate market, it can increase, decrease, just like any other market there is, the stock market, precious metals, what, whatever it be, it can always increase and decrease. So when the housing market has been on the rise for the past 10 years, I always advise my clients to use cautious. <music> Because the market can fluctuate from state to state, city to city, and even neighborhood to neighborhood. That's why it's always very important to do your due diligence before talking to a realtor. Now, it is also very important to note here that real estate can provide some great opportunities in a great market or in a bad market. Basically, it's always a good time to buy if you know what you're doing. Now, if you're looking for the long haul home, the 20 to 30 to 40 year, this is the house for you, that's it, period. Don't sweat the small market corrections, okay? Because you're there for the whole time. And we know over history, real estate always appreciates. So you can always take that into comfort knowing that regardless of how much it fluctuates at the end, you're gonna be on the plus side, big time. My parents, prime example. They, okay, they paid $13,000 for it. It's now worth $750,000 paid for. They're still alive, they're uh, 88 and 87. They're doing great. I live a mile away from them. Now the National Association of Realtors, they have done a nationwide study and their study concluded that that the average home throughout the nation will increase 3.7%. Okay, here in Long Beach, an average price, the medium price of a, of a home here is $610,000 rounded up. So after that first year, you're to spend $610,000 here at a home in Long Beach. Now, according to the NAR at 3.7, which in Long Beach, I think it's a little bit more. That home would be worth $632,570. Now over a five year period, that same home would be worth $705,415,000. So hopefully you can see where this is going if you were to own this home for 30 years plus. Not only would it be paid off for, but it would have increased in value significantly. Double, triple, of what you originally paid for it. All right, so number one, but why now? Well, it's a great investment and it's the quickest and safest way to achieve wealth. Now, as this list goes on, you will see how real estate has created millionaires for many people. Strong economy. Right now we have a strong economy and it looks like it's gonna stay this way for at least for a little while. 
in most parts of the country, home prices are still rising. So if you're one of those Californians who are putting their equity to work for them and moving out of state to pay cash, you may be positioning yourself for some more great equity. Owning a home is just a lot better than renting. Now, as a renter here in Long Beach, if you were just rent your entire life, you would have paid over $750,000 throughout your life with absolutely nothing to show for it, period. You didn't pay for a college education with the equity. You didn't get a new car with the equity. You didn't even go on vacation with that equity because you had no equity. But you spent $750,000 conservatively. But if you were just crunched down to the very basics of what you need, instead of the three bedroom, maybe get the two. Instead of the two bathroom, maybe get the one bathroom. Just to get into a home to start building that equity. Because in that next 30 years, not only will that house be paid for again, it's going to be worth a hell of a lot more. And you can let it do all the work from you. Now, I did make a video a little while ago about where our Californians moving to. Here's a link for that right up here. You can check that out too. It gives in-depth descriptions of jobs, money, and everything where Californians are headed to. But like I said, in that next 30 years, that house is paid for by you. It's owned by you to do what you want to do with it. Living the rest of your life pretty much rent free. Bring you up to travel, go skiing, go golfing, go cruising. Go do those hobbies that you've been wanting to do for a long time, but didn't think you could afford it, but you actually can now. Just imagine how nice that would be not to have to pay rent or a mortgage. Your mortgage payment will stay the same. Now, I cannot say that about your rent, but when you buy a home, you start off, let's just say for an example, your payment is $2,500. In 15 years, that payment is going to be $2,500. Your rent, $2,000. In 15 years, that rent, that eh, could be $3,300. You don't know. So when I talk to people, then this happens all the time. I ask them, what do you feel comfortable in paying for a monthly mortgage payment? And they'll tell me what they're paying for rent. So let's go back to that example. So let's say they're paying $2,000. When I show them a payment of $2,500, oh no, that's just way out of our budget. We can't afford that. When you break it down to your rent's going to increase every year, every two years, it's going to increase two, three, four percent your mortgage payments not. So even if you are paying a few hundred extra dollars a month for a mortgage, it would not take long for the cost of the rent will be higher than the cost of buying. And that's a nice way to slip into tax write-offs. Don't listen to me about taxes whatsoever. Don't listen to any realtor about taxes whatsoever. We're not tax people, okay? We don't do that, and if you do listen to it, eh, that's your fault. But we are not tax people. Do not listen to us there. Consult your local tax expert. But one thing that is continuous throughout the nation, you will be able to write off your mortgage interest, your property tax, and mortgage insurance premium. You will be receiving some pretty awesome tax deductions. So make sure you do check with a tax person, a tax expert, so that you can take advantage of all of them. Stability. When you live in an apartment or you're renting, you don't get to know the people around you. The apartment building, they can move in and out before you even get to know their names. Now, when you move into a neighborhood, these people are going to be there for a while. Their kids are going to go to the same school with your kids. Your kids will be playing together. You'll get to know their parents. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> oh she got it! She got it! You're going to create lifelong bonds. Stuff that you didn't do in an apartment building. But this happens here in a neighborhood. It is a different lifestyle. People look out for each other. They watch out 
for each other's thing. And not to mention the financial stability. Again, you know exactly what your mortgage payment is going to be every month. So today's society, you're earning more money than you did a year or two ago. And that's probably gonna continue over time due to the strong economy. So right now you may not be in love with the idea of being house poor, but within a few short years, that will be turned around because your income will continue to rise while your mortgage payment just stays the same. Just making it easier and easier to make that monthly payment. So in time, you might even want to start paying a little bit extra towards the principal so you can shorten the life of that mortgage. Tips here is just find a home that you can afford. You do not need to impress your friends. You do not need to impress your families. This is not a competition about who has the biggest house, the most bells, the most whistles, and everything else. Just get into a house, find one that you can afford. Now, everything I have discussed so far should make you feel like I gotta go out and buy a house today. Man, the sooner the better. Obviously, I am a huge advocate of home ownership. It is my job. But none of the reasons that I have given so far are as big as this one. Are you ready? It's our crazy low interest rates. Because right now, rates are historical lows. They are just down there. This is free money, basically. But even with the price increases in homes, these ridiculously low interest rates still make it affordable to own a home. Again, my name is Steve Arthur. I am a local realtor here in the Long Beach and the surrounding cities area. I hope you found this video informational and helpful. If you don't want to miss out on future notifications, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, ring that bell. If you or anyone that you may know of needs any real estate help in the Long Beach or the surrounding cities, please reach out to me, give me a call. I love it when people call me through this. I just talked to somebody from Florida the other day. It was fantastic, they'll be here in a month. I'm looking forward to meeting them. But I absolutely love it when people get hold of me through these videos. You take care, and until the next one, have a great one. This is going. So hopefully you can expect their prices to double and triple over the period of history here.